Hi guys, Alex Khan here. Just wanted to talk about an awesome day I had seeing the Breaking Bad stars up close. This day was actually meant to be a Star Wars day, since it was May the 4th, but I got word that Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul were going to be in town promoting their Dos Hombres drink. So I cancelled my Star Wars plans and headed downtown to the liquor library and wine market. Must have waited for about two hours. As I got closer to the entrance, we started hearing announcements that Brian Cranston's flight was delayed, so he would not be appearing for the downtown appearance. I was so bummed out. I wanted to get pictures with both actors, but Brian Cranston was someone I tried to get a picture with back in 2018 when he was filming in Lakeland for the one and only Ivan. Regardless, I was so happy to get a picture with Aaron Paul because I was a big fan of the Need for Speed movie, and I heard that Aaron Paul was a huge fan of cars in real life. They were rushing us through the line, but he was able to tell me he appreciates my comment that I made about Need for Speed, and that I should crack open that bottle of Dos Hombres that I just purchased. I was still a little bummed out about Brian Cranston having to uh, miss this event, but then I got word that Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul would be showing up later at Bar Louis for another Dos Hombres event, which was near the airport. Check it out, Brian Cranston's flight got delayed for the first uh, wine place, so I drove all the way to the airport, but there's going to be a second uh, meet and greet out here. But until then, I'm gonna go to Outback really quick, get some steak, and then go meet these guys together. The Bar Luby event was absolute chaos. It was a bar, and we had no idea how they were going to organize this where we could actually meet the actors. But it was another chance to get to see and possibly get a selfie with Brian Cranston. The event was supposed to start at 4 p.m., but I think the actors got held up for whatever reason, so they both showed up about 90 minutes after the event had started. I don't blame them at all for their tardiness though. We were all excited just to be there, and we were later told that we would have to spend $40 to keep our tables. We were then told that the actors would be walking around the tables, so we all kept paying money to keep our tables. So I sat at my table for 90 minutes, just constantly ordering things off the menu. And then around 5.40pm, they both showed up, and the whole bar got electrified. Aaron Paul was walking around through the crowd, serving drinks and mingling with everyone. He was loving the fan interactions. And then came one of my favorite celebrity moments of all time. Hey Aaron, yeah. can you get a quick video? Sure man. Right. Cheers! Cheers man. Drink your sombres! Mm. That's right, holding a drink with Aaron Paul. That moment alone made my trip to Bar Louis worth the effort. So Brian Cranston went behind the bar and started signing people's bottles. But we had no idea how we were supposed to meet Brian Cranston, but we all figured we had to go to the bar to see him because he was not moving from behind the bar. And he definitely was not coming to our tables, as we were told would happen. So everyone started to crowd the bar. It was sheer chaos, with everyone squeezing themselves close to the bar. I tried to get closer myself to have him sign my bottle, but it was chaos with people giving him bottles and other things to sign, even nacho chips. And then one of the servers started screaming at us to go back to our tables so that the actors would have a chance to come to us. About 50% of us went back to our tables as we were told. But then we noticed nobody else was leaving the bar. But we waited patiently at our tables because that's what we were told to do. After about 15 minutes of sitting at our tables, both actors exited the bar. We all then ran to the parking lot and saw both actors boarding their shuttle. It was amazing to see both actors up close, but it was really sad that I missed another chance to get a selfie with Brian Cranston. I knew there was another event the next day near Millennium Mall, but I had work obligations that I couldn't skip. And just as I suspected, both actors were posing for pictures with people who bought their bottle. In the end, I'm still carrying this feeling of a missed opportunity with Brian Cranston, but my interactions with Aaron Paul were amazing, and I'll never forget those moments.